Uh, staying in Lagos, professionals from different walks of life have graced one of the biggest tech events here in the state, organized by Tech Point Africa, a digital media company. The organizers of the event encouraged Africans to key into technology, develop ideas in order to expand their capacity in business. Our correspondent, Paul George, covered the event for Plus TV Africa. The hall is full to capacity with students, workers, entrepreneurs, and young investors who are ready to cash in on the opportunity in technology at the fourth edition of Tech Point Build. The event kicks off with a keynote address by Adia Sogo, the chief marketing officer of MTN Nigeria. Rather than focus on the goal, I like to focus on the conditions that make success possible. I think we have the talent. I think we have the curiosity and the interest. I think we have the enabling environment. The ecosystem is very interested in our success. I think that the recent announcements have demonstrated that this ecosystem has the potential to be successful. So I think the recipes for success um, is there, so the sky is the limit. In exploring the travel world leveraging technology, one of the speakers, Ayobami Akinuga, urges African entrepreneurs to emulate advanced countries by going digital. We want, we want Africans to be proud of Africa. We want Africans to explore the beauty of Africa. Africa is so beautiful, and those are the things you need to explore. Panelists on this session agree that there has been an advancement in education through the use of smartphone devices and other gadgets. They call for a better deal with the government. The truth is that e-learning is here to stay. I think that has been established based on global pandemic, based on even the situation of Nigeria, where we have a lot of young people that want to go to school, but the infrastructure or the institutions cannot cater for them, right? So it's going to be here. So I think the idea would be to find ways, right, to um, help with helping or support these individuals get into school. The role of, of government and technology is to, is to work hand in hand uh, in order to bring better learning outcomes to the citizens. And today, governments in Africa already spend more on education than their OEC counterparts. So they're already spending quite a lot of investment in education. But I think that what is happening as well is that the population is growing very quickly. So the only way that we're going to be able to put a high quality teacher in front of every student, give every student the opportunity to be in a world class environment is going to be by enabling technology into our classroom. This panel session is on the entertainment industry. Not the founder and CEO of, of Afrobeat Intelligence of the gives an overview of the revolution of Afrobeat music. The best thing to happen to the Nigerian music industry was COVID-19. We leveraged technology. That's what happened. That's the difference between when I started and now. What I would advise Nigerians who are offline and who are not in this thing, that the truth of the matter is, if you're trying to make money, Technology is what enables money, okay? If you're offline and you come online, your opportunities are 10 times multiple. So if you look at our old markets, Ariara markets in Abba, Computer Village, Onicha, all these places need to come online. We start doing online transactions so that we can grow our economy. We're seeing amazing things in the music space, uh, especially in the Nigerian music space, right? So whether it's songs like Essence, you know, that's blowing up globally, or Love One Tintin, which was like the number one song for a long time. And I think the role of tech, tech has played a big role in that, right? Because tech has allowed, has created no barriers. You don't need a visa, <laughs> basically, for your song to travel. Some participants catch a glimpse of the different exhibition stands. I think that technology is... Um really enabling a lot of sectors, a lot of industries, so from education to health to real estate, there's so much, to agriculture, there's so much that um, technology is doing to enable these different industries and creating opportunities for young people um, and building the human resource that we have in Africa to the standard where we're able to um, you know, compete on the global stage. One message from here is that Africans must make it while the sun shines in order to catch up with the rest of the world of technology. Paul George for Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.